one of the most efficient ways to generate isk actually takes you out of the game by way of the abyssals? No. It doesn't take you out of the game. What? It takes you out of known space, but it doesn't take you out of the game. In fact, you're having to, you're having to engage with the game more in PvE in Abyssals than almost any other PvE in the game. Takes you out of the sandbox, except for it kind of doesn't. So, two arguments about that. One, absolutely it doesn't take you out of the sandbox because you're still vulnerable on your way out, which means you have to take considerations about your filament, which means you might have to counter against the gankers. There's tactics that you can do against it. Um, now, it, it it's condensed down to only one moment but it's very much there. And the second piece is um, there are absolutely, even before the latest exploration sites, there are absolutely places in this game with gates that give near absolute security to the people that are inside, as long as you're paying attention to D-Scan. Okay? This idea of taking yourself out of the play so that way you can focus on the task at hand is not absolutely new to, to Abyssals. Now, they took it to the next level. They said, okay, now you get to focus on just this activity. You don't have to pay attention to anything external to it. You don't have to worry about player interaction or anything like that, but you do have to worry about this. And that allows the PvE to be more demanding and therefore more engaging and more informative for how to actually play. So those players, hold on, here's the thing. Those guys who start doing Abyss, you know what they end up doing almost nine times out of 10? They end up going into PvP. Why? Because they now have a sense of mastery. If they end up doing level four missions and shit, the one thing that they know is that they are now able to make money, but they have no idea how to fucking play this game. They don't know how to fly their ship and they have no confidence in, in actually getting, uh, you know, doing anything else besides that. See also ratting and being in large fleets. These pilots deep down inside know that they have no idea what they're doing, but they don't know how to fix it. And they don't think they can. There's very, very little feedback in this game, and therefore there's very little acclamation or a, a sense of the uh, gaining of mastery, the gaining of confidence, the feeling that now is the time that I can go compete with people. Now I can go fight in faction warfare and other places. The abyss takes somebody from I don't fucking know how any of this works to I can fly good enough and understand the game good enough that now my next step is going to go fight people. So yeah, the Abyss gets people in the game. Been one of those days. Abyss has some issues at this point, but that's because, you know, they're, as I said earlier, they're good, but... Like, you only get away with that for so long. And the, the revamp to Abyssals to more or less attempt to counter some of the more cheesy strategies while at the same time introduce a little bit more variety or whatever, uh, that, that ain't it. First of all, people universally didn't seem to like it much. I don't know of anybody that like says, actually... After the fact, I think that it was really good that they made they they made those changes to abyssals. But more importantly, like they spent all that time in invasions chapter one and two, and then they're more or less not relevant to the game anymore in like a way that you can run them organized anymore. Uh, so it it almost feels like they spent two years of uh, PVE development and then threw it in the trash. That's true, red loot does not change. So, you can, you can overwhelm Abyss. You can go very simply. But, A, that can be very expensive. B, it actually is risky because you can always DC and have other things go wrong and then lose that very expensive thing. But more importantly, like, see, going for more efficient methods, you know, cheaper equipment, smaller equipment, not only is it more exciting, it's more isk efficient overall, and you get, you become better, right? 
if you if you can just brain dead your way through the abyss, if you all you're doing is just you know going to the cache to the gate or you know from the entrance to the cache to the gate, killing everything on the way with your drones and your Gila, you're in my opinion you're doing it wrong. Like even when I'm in a Gila, when I jump in every single room, I analyze where all of the different um, uh, you know what enemies there are, and then also the the layout of the room, what what towers are there and what extractors are there. Because I want to figure out how many extractors can I get and collect before I'm done fighting all those people. Because I don't want to waste any time extracting, extra uh, getting extractors. But at the same time, if I could pull some extractors while I'm fighting, then that's just free money. That means that every single abyss has at least one moment of active brain time throughout it. Okay? So yes, yes, you can cheat yourself out of it. Right? You can bot it, you can do it the easy way. You know what? You can also uh, train for football by paying somebody else to run your exercises for you. Will it make you better at football? No! But it gets the exercises done. You're cheating yourself, man. It's like, it's like listening to music to practice your scales. Like, just... Fucking play the game.